Hi everyone, this is going to be my summer haul of 2014. I was away for two weeks and this is the stuff that I accumulated during that time. Now, not everything here is craft related. I have also some other stuff, but I'm going to start off with the craft related items. So I went to flea market and I found this roll of board. It's really cute, pink on white beautiful old-fashioned little scenes with kids and animals and this was only 50 cents so this was a really nice bargain find so and there's quite a bit of it in here as well so love that one and by the way please excuse my horribly chipped nail polish i'll show you the actual polish later in this video and i also got this one it's a little wooden barrel the top is almost off but i'm going to glue that on and I'm going to paint this and try to maybe take it off from the backing. If I can't manage that, then I'm just gonna use it like this in my dollhouse. So that was also 50 cents. Then I went to another flea market and there was this little nice old lady who was selling um, dollhouse stuff. I think she had made some of this herself. And this was one of them, a little cute rag. It's a nice enough rag and I like the color in here. It's hand knitted. And then this one, I don't know how many of you know what this is, but in my country it's called a carpet beater. And what you do with this is you get all kinds of dust removed from the carpet. So you take the carpet and you put it on a rack and then you beat it with the beater. If you know what I mean, great. If you don't, I'm really sorry, but um, that's what that's what this is about. This is meant for beating carpets. And I was really thrilled to find one in miniature version because this really does look like the beaters that I've used, for example. And then the same lady also sold um, some little baskets. I'm going to paint this one because I don't like that red color there. Like I've said in some videos, I don't like basic colors. So I want to paint this maybe pink or something. This is clearly handmade. It's cute. Another little basket uh, with rye bread. Now this is also a cultural thing. Uh, I'm in Scandinavia, which is in Northern Europe. And for us, rye bread looks like this. And they are often round with a hole inside, like these ones. And these are actual real rye breads, I've checked it. They are real rye breads and they are so yummy. And this is the way in old times when women made rye bread, they put them in this like steaks and then they always took one out when they needed it this one is in a basket that's cute um, but I think I'm going to maybe do a little paint work on the basket but I thought this was so cute little rye breads in a basket so that was cute so I'm definitely gonna use this maybe this is not glued in I think maybe I will even take this off and put the rye breads elsewhere I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I'll have to see but that was a nice enough thing as well and then lastly, she had this cart. This is me a metallic, metallic cart. It's a little dirty. It, it was outside probably for quite a while, but the paint work is good. So I'm going to wash it and see if the paint is good everywhere. And then I'm probably gonna use it just in this color. I'm gonna put it in the yard of my dollhouse like this, fill it with flowers and it's gonna be really cute. However, the um, the wheels here, as you can see, they are a little bit wonky. So I might add a drop of super glue right in there and then make sure that they hold on like this. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I'll just put them because you can post this. So maybe I won't do anything at least other than washing it. And so that was that for, for the little doe house flea market stall. OK, so then um, I did some some foraging in the yard of our cabin there and I picked a lot of tiny teeny pieces of rock not rock wood <laughs> and um, I took some bigger ones some smaller ones and these are meant for my dollhouse uh, since I have that oven in there I obviously I need some logs so I'm going to make a little pile of logs out of these and I can also use these bigger ones but not landscaping in the yard there's quite a bit in here, more than I need, but I just wanted to get quite a bit while I was there. So, 
this is self-picked and then I also picked you might wonder what did she do why did she do that but I picked teeny tiny rocks from the yard of our cottage most of these are granite because granite is in Scandinavia it's like maybe the most common type of rock but I thought that I can use this in decorations and I can um, make all kinds of little things with these maybe even make a little sandbox on the yard I don't know but I just wanted to get some just in case um, that was it for the crafty items and the rest of the items are not crafty so let me start off with a piece of jewelry that I got from a fair we went to a fair that had lots of market stalls and one of the stalls was selling Celtic jewelry and I bought this it's called a poet's drop and I love it it's so cute so beautiful and um, it comes in this adjustable leather cord very very cute and this little velvet pouch is great too so that one was a nice enough find then at a flea market the same flea market where I got for example this one I got these I got six cups and six plates and these are totally new there's not a dent anywhere and I haven't even washed them yet and they are so clean I am obviously going to wash them before I use them but I thought they were so cute that I had to get them and guess what so I have six of these like six of these and the original price was three euros which would be like maybe four four and a half dollars and they were half off so I got these for 150 which would be maybe like two or two fifty in dollars that was such an amazing find really cute little cups six ones of these I'm still so happy about this find because I love these little cups and I got six of them for practically nothing so that was a really good flea market find okay and then let me see um hmm. yep then some cosmetics I finally found some dry shampoo I've been wanting to try dry shampoo for quite a while but I just for some reason I've never come around to finding it or buying it now I find this uh, Clipotec dry shampoo it says bonus effect but I think it's just the anti shine effect which is the bonus effect so anyway got this one and then the nail polishes the one that I have on right now is this it's um a metallic golden color as you can see there it has a bluish tint to it you can't really see it in your fingers at least I can so it's a golden color with bluish tint this one I haven't opened up yet but I love it by Kone and it is a reddish bronzy color <laughs> reddish bronzy color so that's a, that's a nice enough color and um, also got some hand cream this is olive oil and um, very nice thick cream for the hands definitely need it when winter comes and then oh this one one of my favorite items I know it says it's just cream soap but um, Caribbean dream but the reason why I love this is because this has a scent that I've been hunting for maybe 15 years when I, I was in Glasgow Scotland for like about 15 years ago and well it's gonna be soon 20 years actually and I found this soap there that smelled so heavenly and I've never been able to find that scent anywhere in my country now I did in this soap so I need to go back to that store I mean it's it's like a chain store so I, I have one near me so I'll go there and I'll try to find more of this because I will stock up on this like crazy I love this scent I don't think it smells at all like Caribbean dream I think it's more like a fresh scent so anyway really happy about this I know it might sound really weird but when you've been looking for something like 15 years you're really happy about it then for my little goddaughter a magnetic Hello Kitty doll um, so it's, it's magnetic so it's pretty pretty um, thick 
the stole and all the accessories and clothes are here. So I thought you would enjoy this. And then, let me see. Yep, this one I got as a gift. It is a bag with vanilla products. There's like hand lotion, Hannah body lotion, roll on deodorant and bath and shower gel. I don't use deodorants that have aluminum so I'm not going to use this so I can see that it has aluminum so I'm going to give this as a gift to someone but I'm going to use these so that was that then I got a surprising amount of makeup bags and I don't have that much makeup that I would need for makeup bags but just I happen to get four makeup bags and this is the first one I really love this it's so cute it's like a French theme so cute so I'm probably going to put some other items in these that was cute and then this one this is a pack of three it's a big one mid-sized one and small one here and um, it's a soft slightly shiny fabric and it's got this leopard print so these I'm definitely gonna use for other items than makeup because I already have so many makeup bags those and uh hmm let me see yeah okay so the next item that i have it's a little bit bigger so i need to change into a different location so so here is second. the next item it is a outdoor backpack and it's pretty big and i got this because i travel quite a bit i go to my mom's i go to our summer cottage and um, i'm always needing a big bag that can hold quite a bit of stuff because I, I don't always want to take um, like a suitcase with me. So that's why I got this one. It's nice enough. It has a lot of different compartments and it's an ergonomic fit. And um, you can put, it has a access point for a straw, a drinking straw. And you can put your laptop in there because it has um, that kind of a compartment in there. Just lots of compartments. There's one. There's one, there's two on the top here. There's also rain cover there so that rain won't go in there. So it's meant for camping, but I'm going to use it just for traveling around. So that was that. And with that bag, I got a free camping lantern. It's a miniature one, has this nice little clip that I can attach it to anything I want to. It's a LED light and it's supposed to be really bright. I love this. So yeah, that was a free gift. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to talk to you about, that I'm going to show you the items, they have to do with a secret that I have. I haven't actually talked about this before because, well, there's a danger that people would think I'm crazy. Um, <laughs> I might be a little crazy, not big time crazy. Anyway, um, this is like a little bit of a closet thing for me. So I've been in, a, in the closet regards to this simple thing. Um, I am a prepper. Now, you probably, most of you have seen Doomsday Preppers, the TV program. Now, nothing like that. No, I don't have a bunker. I don't have guns and ammo stacked up. The only thing that prepping is for me is just to building a stockpile and being ready for those times when electricity goes out, water goes out, heat goes out or the stores are not open, the pharmacy is not open for some reason. So just preparing for those kind of scenarios. So I'm building a stockpile of food, water, hygiene items, and I also want to stockpile some medicines. I haven't done those yet. I also have some camping items. So I'm going to show you the prepping items, usually called preps, that I bought during this little holiday that I had. So let's start with some drinking straws. Now, I, I bought this huge lot of drinking straws because I like to drink with a straw. If I'm drinking a sugary drink, then I will always use a straw because that way my front teeth are not getting all that sugary drink onto them as I drink. And it's better for the teeth to drink with a straw if you're drinking something sugary. So, I'm not sure these are actually preps, but 
you know, it's going into my stockpile, so I'll call it preps. So, thank you, straws. Then for my hygiene pile, um, this huge bottle of lavender soap. It says lavender here, but it's, it's lavender. And this is such a huge bottle, you can see there, if you compare my fingers to it. So it's really big. And uh, it was really dirt cheap. My mom bought one and we used that and it was just fine. It's not the best soap in the world, but it does the job. So this goes to my stockpile. And also I, I want to stockpile some dishwashing liquid, even though if electricity should go out, I probably would not use, um, I would use like paper plates. So I wouldn't have to worry about that. But anyway, I want to stockpile some of these as well, just for maybe those times if money is tight, then I have this thing ready. It's tea tree and mint, and it's a nice enough dishwashing liquid and it's a big bottle. So that's gonna go there, waiting for bad times when I need to use that. And then let me see, the next item that I bought for my preps is this. It is a jerry can. A jerry can is just like an empty canister. This is inflatable, so when you put things in there, it kind of inflates. Right now it's all squished up and um, has a nice enough handle and it holds 14 liters. Now, I believe it's about 3.6 liters, that is one gallon in US measurements. So this would hold like Oh, I'm really bad in math, but I would say like over three gallons of water, this one. So that's a nice thing. So I'm going to fill it with water and put it in my water shelf. So that. Then for those times when electricity goes out, got this lantern. This is very bright. This functions with batteries, by the way. So don't look directly in there as I put it on. It's really, really bright. So it's a nice enough thing. I really like that. I don't like to start hassling with candles if the electricity goes out. This is much easier. Just put it on the table, put it on, and um, it has a really nice bright light. I have another one of these as well. So these kind of lights are really, really good to have in case of emergency. Then I got this um, power cord um, bracelet. These are very basic prepper things this cord you can unravel it you can wear it as a wrist band not wristband is it a wristband maybe yeah so you can wear it around your wrist and you can take this power cord off and use it for something if you are in a desperate situation so that's good to have and the last item is this I've been wanting to get a little camping stove that I can use if electricity, electricity should go out to cook. And I got this one. This one uses um, twigs, just wood from the forest. So I can use this without gas. I know that most of them use gas but I don't like that idea. I'm not used to gas because we don't cook with gas in my country. We only have electric stoves and stuff. So I'm not used to handling gas and it worries me a little bit. Maybe one day I will learn that, but right now I'm just happy with my little wood burning stove. So this is the way it opens up. And um, this hold your pot or something. Um, I'm not actually sure what this is. Those of you who know camping stoves, please let me know. Do, am I supposed to put this in here? It does fit in there. Because I'm thinking maybe not in there because there you would put all the wood and twigs and you know you would start your fire in there and put the twigs in there. So I'm not, I don't think it fits in there. I think I'm going to have to go to the website where I bought this from and see where they put this in the pictures. But, yeah, it's important to have something that you can cook with if electricity goes down. So, yeah, that's that. 
and um, okay, let's put it, there. it comes in this nice enough little bag, so it stays there, nice and neat. And you know what? I actually think I'm done now. I don't think I have any more stuff coming up. Nope, definitely not. So that was my little haul. And um, in regards to prepping, I am thinking of maybe making one video in which I talk a little bit more about prepping and my prepping philosophy and where I would show my prep. So that means what I have put by because I think it's a very, very important issue to be prepared. But anyway, let me know what you thought about this. If you have any questions about anything, post a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you really enjoyed it and that you have a nice day. Bye.